up and down match. I love how to do that. Anyway, over here in the red from the team OGS, former GSL champion, playing for pride right now. OGS MC. And that's really what it is. I mean, he's yep. the type of guy, he's going to take this game seriously. You know, if you think for one minute that he doesn't care about winning this game, then you don't know OGS MC very well. He's got to take out this guy, though, a pretty strong Terran player from the team NS Hozo. He is. NS Hozo, Jackji. Hey, Doa, you know what? What's that? I figured out what that song was saying. Ah! All right, what? Yeah, so I figured out that the band, like, there were some local kids that were, like, going around knocking down mailboxes. <laughs> okay. And they were like, what do we do about this, man? And one guy uh -huh. was, he was like, I know what to do. So they made a song about, let's get the po, 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 po. The police? Yeah, they want to get the police I out. See. So I, I was wondering if you were going to go for, like, metal poles. That's what, that's no. what they did with some of the mailboxes back, like, in the, in the rural area that I lived in. Kids were doing that. They put, like, metal poles and, like, concrete in the mailboxes. So kid oh, really? would try to do that, it wouldn't go too well. It would, it would bounce off. It's kind of dangerous, actually, to be driving by, hit with a baseball bat. That could not be comfortable. Wouldn't imagine so. Yeah. So, uh, gas. And I'm going to kind of channel Wolf right now when I say, if you're a Protoss player and you see the Terran taking gas like that, you don't want to go for a really fast, risky expand. Just because you you don't know if they're going to do that marine tank match, you want to do what MC is doing. You want to get that second gas. You want to play it safe. Yep. I hope I did Wolf justice in describing it. <laughs> you can do it better than I can. But so then, if there's anyone who would scout something like that and go for a risky, a quick expansion, it would be MC. That's absolutely true. It's like, oh, hey, probe, are you going to build a pylon? I guess so. What the? Oh, well, that's interesting. Did Oh, never mind. Reactor right now going down on that barracks. Oh, nothing on gas. He's going to probably go for a, uh, well, it could be a one racks expand with just a reactor. We do see that sometimes in TVT where people pull their uh, SCVs off gas after getting enough for the reactor. Actually, that's a lot more common on NA than on Korea. Yeah, there's a command center. Okay, so yep. I've seen this on NA. I actually don't recall seeing it on the Korean server yet. It's a good opening, though. It is safe. I w Jokshi is so cool, man. I love watching this guy play. He does not do what you would expect. I'm I really didn't know what to expect. Guy. Oh, you know what, though? MC is going to catch that bunker. You know, he might see the bunker and think that it's preparation for that Marine Take Banshee all in, yeah. too. So, a little bit of mind games here. Very interesting. I'm thinking MC is going to go for a Void Ray all in, though. I don't know. I've just got this feeling, man. Uh, well, we're going to find out soon if he's going to make a Stargate. It's got to be right now, basically. Yeah, he's going to see the bunker. All right. Excuse me. Depends on what he thinks Jokshi is doing. If he thinks Jokshi is going for that type of fast expand, he may not want to do that. Then again, he may also do something like a Void Ray expand as well. Oh, there's the, yeah, there's the Nexus. Okay, he's just going to one gate expand, correctly assuming that Jokshi is just fast expanding. He's been watching Jokshi's games today, too, so that's a fairly safe assumption. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you saw that bunker, yep. and if you're going for a very aggressive build, you're not going to build a bunker as often. Yeah, he's going to go gate, robo-gate, which is pretty pretty safe against Terran. Well, with the Nexus down as well. Yep, right. Well, it's, I guess that's the order after you do the Nexus. You know, one gate expands on the robo, then the gateways. And it looks like we might have some pretty quick upgrades, too, for uh, Jokshi. He does have two tech labs on there. He can get pretty quick there. Might decide to do a little bit of a push. Yep. And he's going to kill off that probe before sending his command center out. So yeah. MC still can't be certain that he's taking his expansion right now. A little bit yeah. in the dark right now. You know, we see Jokshi moving out across the map. And uh, I'm going to take out the statue first, I guess. But he's... Uh, most likely not going to take this all the way to MC's base. You know, he's just kind of poking, feeling things out a little bit, seeing how MC responds. Testing the waters, if you will. Yeah, he is going to put on some pressure, though, and oh, combat shield is dim starting right now, so all right, this is not just like a major attack. MC does have kind of some units on the high ground. He sees this coming with the probe on the watchtower as well. He doesn't know about yep. those marauders, though. Yep, look at that. And, turning around. And actually, with the two tech labs, He's going to be able to get stim at the same time as combat shields and concussive yeah, right. shells and a ghost academy going down, actually. Well, I believe you can get 
combat shields and slow or in concussive shells yeah, at the same, the same time amount of time as stim, stim. Yeah, yeah but, so uh, that times out quite nicely. So it looked like he was just going to go for kind of a marine marauder attack, uh, timing attack, but he's actually getting a ghost academy. So yeah. that is very interesting. Maybe to try to EMP those sentries before oh, going in. Oh, of course, in. yeah. Yep. I mean, this is there's kind of a couple different ways you can do something like this. Um, you generally always have the three barracks, two with the tech lab, one with the reactor. You can either go for reactor and starport to get out a lot of medevacs after that, or you can go for the Ghost Academy and try to win via EMP. Looks like that's the route that Jokshi has chosen. MC getting his Twilight Council as well. And I would imagine it's probably going to be charged, but I don't know. Might be just be a Dark Shrine. No, no he's going right Templar for Templar Archives. Going to try right. and get that out. And right. that's exactly not what he needs right now because it looks like Jokji is going to go for a bit of a timing attack. Stim is about to finish. It could potentially he has a be couple a bit of dangerous. Ghosts. I think he's going to wait for Stim. And uh, if he gets a solid EMP on those clumped up... Oh, hold oh, that thought. Oh, oh. He does force field off some of the Marines and catches them. Nicely done by MC. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know if I really like that push by Jokji. I mean, you that's kind of the type of thing that says, I'm counting on you not force fielding well enough that I can get away if I need to. And well... Can't count on that with MC, man. Well, he wasn't really attacking yet, is the thing. MC just kind of moved out. He was posturing nearby MC's base. I think MC saw that and decided to move out and engage before he was ready. So now he has the ghosts. Now he has stim. Now he has concussive shells. This is the time when Jokshi would want to go in. Uh, but MC just took out about eight Marines, so yeah. I'm not sure if he still wants to do that attack. Well, I'm sure he would have been pushing if he hadn't lost that small group of units. It's just too close right now. I mean, he doesn't want to get in there and possibly lose his army and then lose the game doesn't want to stay in code a his, uh, his his fate is in his own hands right now i mean if he wins this game that's the best chance he can give himself to moving up to code s yep zelt charge on the way for mc there's the templar warping in yeah uh, he's not getting storm right now he's just gonna charge so what he could do what we see players doing a lot is just getting those templar uh to make into archons and also feedback medevacs but he is getting storm now Yep, making sure that those Templars have enough energy to actually use it once it comes out. Yeah. So if Jokshi is going to make this this period of time work, oh, he's going to he have see the to observer. Does he? No. No. Maybe he does. I don't think he does. You know why? Why? Because it's cloaked. Well, yeah. Some people can. Some people are good at seeing that man. They got like predator vision. They can see the outline. Jokshi is not Captain Kirk. I'm sorry. He Captain Kirk? Yeah, Captain Kirk. Captain Kirk has there, predator vision? No, but there was a scene where he like looked at the view screen and just like saw the faintest oh, yeah. shimmer against the star. That's right, I remember the that. The starscape and like knew there was a cloaked Klingon ship there. Those Klingons. I tell you, man. What? It's always causing trouble. Well, in the original series, yeah. Well, yeah, they don't they always kind of cause trouble? I mean, well, they were there they were Federation's allies in the next generation. Yeah. Sometimes they cause trouble anyway, I suppose. But uh, anyway, Storm is done, and there's some Templar on the map, so uh, oh. Jokji has missed any chance of making some kind of a timing attack. Of that, Medivac is on its way to get feedbacked, I think. It's going to try to drop, but as we saw there, there's uh, speed lots and Templar there. It's pretty tough to make your drop do any damage that way. Yeah, that drop is really just going to ask to get owned. Yeah, the Medivac's kind of thinking about it. It's like, huh, you know... I I might die if I do this. I don't know if I want to go through with it. Well, it's ironically saving up more energy right now by not going in. So, it, <laughs> so it's going to have more energy to be feedback. It, feedback, yeah. of course, does uh, damage equal to the amount of energy that it takes away. Whoa. That Marine does see the uh, third. I believe he saw the third. He's can be reasonably sure it exists even if he didn't see it. Yeah, MC is going for uh, some pretty heavy upgrading right now, too. Kind of boosting that out on both of his forges. That medevac still just kind of hanging out. Yep. He's gonna fly in the factory first and see. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Nice move. Yep. Not willing to to risk it. Jockey's Zealots just gonna have to sit decisions. here and watch it fly over him. Go, go, go. Yep. Can't feed back a factory. Nope. He can warp in stalkers underneath it. Yeah, you can do that. Both of these guys on three bases. This is kind of the uh, classic Terran Protoss standoff. You know where. Both players just kind of macro up and don't really attack each other. You know, maybe the Terran tries to drop a little bit, and then he's like, well, I don't think this is going to do any damage, so I'm just going to stop dropping it. Yeah. Um, so uh, just regarding the upgrades, 1-1 one, one is about to complete for MC right now. Jokji, he got his upgrades started earlier, but only oh. off one engineering bay. So he's actually going to be behind in upgrades the longer things go. He's just gotten a second eBay. 
but he's just going to start falling behind at this point. Oh, MC knows about the dropship. He spotted it with his observer. And this dropship might be in pretty big trouble. Oh, looks like Stalkers might just miss it. No, they won't. Maybe. Do they see it? Oh, oh so close. Miss. Yeah, and I'm surprised he didn't send some farther down to spot the lower route since that's a yeah. common way to go. I'm a little bit surprised too. The Stalkers are like, where's Waldo? Waldo's in the dropship and he's ready to stim. That's right. There is a bunch of Zealots and a, a Templar with full energy there, so yeah. I don't think this is going to be very well faded. Yeah, it should be okay. And feedback on the medevacs. Storm even. That was a bit excessive, but the drop is taken care of either way. Yeah, he, I think he did more damage to his oh, look at this. Zealous Looks than like anything else, but here comes the major attack, though. Like he's going to push. Scanning. Where are the EMPs? Waiting for the units to clump up. Oh, he gets all the sentries. Great EMP. Great engagement from Jock G. The stalkers were out of position. This is looking like it could be pretty bad for MC. Storm's helping out quite a bit. Oh, nice snipe oh. on that Templar. All these units are so red. Those storms are going to do so much damage. One more storm could finish off this entire army. Yeah. But he may just kill Min MC right here, though. Is it He's got be so enough? many units. The DPS is so high. This I don't know. We're going to see reinforcements coming down the side of the map. Probes fighting now. MC losing a lot of economy right now. And I think those guys are just going to go into the main and start sniping pylons. That's what he's going for. Uh, but these storms might be able to drive him home. No, he doesn't storm quite in the right spot. He's starting yeah. to feed back. He but actually he just, can't stim. Yeah, he's so low on all of his units, he can't stim oh, some of them. But it, it may not even matter. He just uh, has so many units. All those medevacs keeping the units alive. MC forced back GG. into his base. GG. Wow. And Shock G has forced a 3-1 tie or yes, a three-way tie at 3-1. Well, yeah, it's a 3-1 tie and it's a three-way tie. Jokshi, this guy is impressing me, man. I mean, maybe wow. he is ready for Code S. You know who's not, though? MC. No. He's going down to Code A. MC and Kyrix failing hard in this yeah. game. Yeah. Well, that's kind of been the, uh, the sort of story of MC for the last couple of months where he can be really exciting or really, uh, well, he's, he's exciting all the time, but really uh, successful outside of Korea. But inside Korea, not so much lately. And, and yeah. going down to code A, wow. And Lucira still might join him, too. We have that three-way tie. These guys are going to uh, play off, I guess. I'm not quite sure about how the format is going to work yeah. for that. It's, but uh, I'm sure we'll get an explanation for that uh, pretty soon. Yeah, I think in the in the situation of the three-way tie, I believe we are going to have uh, some playoff matches. Yeah. Since, uh, it, I don't think it would be possible to just figure out like who had beaten who. There's no way that two of them could have beaten the third because all of them have just one loss. Well, they could, so, yeah. So, um, well, Jokshi yeah. beat Lucira. Jokshi beat Lucira. Lucira beat Czech, and yep. Czech beat Jokshi. So, it's a three-way tie all the way around. Yeah. Um, so we are going to have some playoff matches here, and we're probably hmm. just going to play a little mini round robin. Is what I'm expecting is going to happen. I think that's probably right. We're getting invited to the first game now, and it is going to be Lucira versus Czech first. Lucira so. versus Czech rematch. Yep. And then uh, the loser is going to play Jokji, and okay. that will determine how things go. And oh, there, there go. goes MC. I feel kind of sad. Yep. It's yeah. going to be at least three games, Yeah, no matter who wins what. And then we'll kind of see what the results are after that, see if we yeah. need to play any more games. Yeah, because uh, uh, we will need to determine the seeding, I believe. So yeah. whoever comes out on top. I think that's... Well, I guess, no, I guess maybe not with the... Uh, with the selections. Anyway, we're going to take a five-minute break. We'll try and figure it out in the meantime. We'll see you in a few.